So a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during halftime. The Kings trailing. Taking a look at the Kings. Up front, it'll be Murray and Sabonis. Fox runs point with Herter by his side. And it's Barnes in at the small forward. Now here's Herter. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. Shooting for Sacramento. Kevin Herter. Shooting one. Tied up with that one. Already impressing at a young age, Kevin Herter's dead eye accuracy from deep, combined with being a fearless competitor going inside, that's going to pay some dividends throughout his career. Here's Holmgren. Just three to shoot. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. And a miss there on the triple. Sacramento has gone 5 of 12 from three-point range tonight. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Ali. Thanks, Brian. Well, De'Aaron Fox is a competitor. He said, I want to win. I know there's more that I can do. Just trying to create a spark, some type of energy. You can talk about what you did in high school and college, but you have to take it to a totally different level if you want to be one of those guys in the league. Brian? Ali, thank you. And so here's Sacramento. After the basket by Oklahoma City. Outside Barnes. Pass to Fox. Shoot from 12. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. It's going to go on Shea Gilgis Alexander. Aaron Fox not backing away that time from the contact, drawing the defense into him. Aaron Fox, two shots. one falls for him. You know, guys, they say speed kills, and in this case, it kills defense. Fox just so quick with the ball. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And with that quickness, Fox is so difficult for defenses to contain them. Yeah, the one thing, B.A., that I love is when De'Aaron picks a tough angle to match up against. Because guys tracking him, they're going to lose a little bit of steam. And when he gets ahead, great decisions are made. Here's Fox. After the basket by Oklahoma City. Herter finds Fox. The three from Barnes. And they'll get another chance. Murray. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And the Kings lead by two. <laughs> Those second chance buckets are major bonus points if you can get them. Here's Baisley, defended by Murray. And a bit of a battle for the ball. And the officials signal a jump ball here. And so here's Sacramento. For Oklahoma City, they've got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. Giddy at his size can get to the inside and make some things happen. That time drawing a foul. At the line for your thunder, Josh Giddy. Two shots. Shooting two. First one falls. 
getting one of those guys who, when he's on the floor, plays with that kind of joy that Steve Kerr often talks about with Steph Curry. This is a guy who wants to keep improving in any way that he can. And that's good as he hits both shots. The Kings have gone three of five from the field in this third quarter. Outside Barnes. Back to Fox. Outside Barnes. Pass to Herder. Here's Murray. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. There's no debate there. He got hammered. At the line for the Kings, Murray at the line for two. The first free throw is good. good on the second free throw he does enough to give them the lead every point critical here with the game in the balance has to Holmgren and no good trying to use the glass well he finds some space in that in-between gap there too bad he can't release that one on target here's Fox tipped three minutes gone now in the third quarter now Jordan. And placed on a whistle there on what looks like an illegal screen. Nice. That one stings there. Hurts so much more to turn the ball over, especially with how tight the game is. And how about that replay? Man, you got to appreciate the hustle on defense. Yeah, just some terrific effort there. And you know the whole team will get an energy boost off a block like that one. The Kings leading. The bonus outside. Pass to Murray. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Murray's got five points in the quarter. Their interior D continues to look shaky. Not a good matchup for them right now. Back to Jordan. And that comes off the assist by Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander's got six assists here tonight. Outside Barnes. Ooh, it's stolen by Jordan. For the lead. Baisley, good. Baisley's got his second basket on the night. And it just feels like Darius is getting more and more equipped to be able to take that kind of contact. Herter finds Fox. Sabonis outside. Back to Fox. Oh, it's blocked by Gilgis Alexander. Nice job, SGA, coming in and using that long athletic wingspan. Oh, it's his 10th basket on 12 tries. You got to appreciate the efficiency here. All right, guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Thunder. I mean, for those swats, <laughs> they can get into your head, make you think twice about shooting it. So it's about more than just those block numbers. Well, if we add another thing to it, it's about the urgency they've played with. I mean, you look at the eyes of these guys. They're focused, wanting to get up tempo, and that's helped them score on the fast break. And the other team is running all over them right now. The timeout before the timeout here, maybe just to cut off the momentum and have a chit chat with the team to settle down.
Krzyzewski checked in for Oklahoma City. Alexei Inside. Sabonis in the post. Pass to Murray. It's Herter on the wing. And he was camped in the lane there. He gets a three-second call. Oklahoma City has gotten six of ten three-pointers to drop. Now Gilgis Alexander. Give him 20. And they call an illegal screen here. You can get away with one once in a while. But it looked like he wasn't completely set on that pick. Yeah, a quick little lean like that is going to get the ref's attention. Foul call. Outside Herter. Pass to Barnes. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Barnes has got 12 points in the game. Attacking is one thing, but body control another and Harrison Barnes showing you that on that play here's Gilgis Alexander and he drops in the layup off the glass they have no answer defensively inside the Kings have gone five for nine from the floor in the third quarter outside Herder back to Fox pass to Barnes shot clock at six and here's Sabonis outside. That one's good. And it's Barnes with the assist. Barnes has got three assists tonight. Sabonis a confident scorer on that play right there. Once he's got the ball in his hands in that area, he's looking to shoot. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. He's got 22. Here's Holmgren. He's guarded by Sabonis. From deep, Jordan gets the three to fall. Jordan's got 21 points in the game. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Herter finds Murray. The three ball. And he drains it. A solid five for six now. Well, Herter's a guy who can get you back in a hurry. You make one, he'll come back and get a three himself. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Pokashevsky. Outside Giddy. The shot. Oh, the Thunder tack on two more. Impressive decision there as Giddy just shot that one with no hesitation. For Sacramento, they've gotten seven of their first 11 attempts to go in this half. Now a timeout by Sacramento. You have to like what we're seeing from Shea Gilgis Alexander. Well, I hope this one is not to draw up a play, but to think about how they're going to defend that man. He's putting up some major numbers. Lou Dort, he's checked in for Giddy. The Kings making a switch here. Shot from the inbound, and it's good. Fought through contact, hit the shot, and will go to the line. At the line for the Kings, DeMontis Savonis. At the line for one. And Savonis, no good on that one. Oklahoma City has gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. And Chemezi drafted in 2018, spent his first few seasons grinding it out in the G League, trying to prove himself until he got that contract in 2021. Now here's Herter. He's got 15. Pass to Metu. Herter with it. Pocket six. On the wing, Davis. Another three for Sacramento. And for Metu, ask his teammates. They'll tell you just how hard of a worker he is. Yeah, it's been a constant theme, B.A. Do you know Chemezi graduated college in three years with a degree in law, history, and culture, all while playing at USC? Here's Holmgren. 
13 points in the game. Dort for three. It's rebounded by Sabonis. Sabonis has got his fifth rebound in this one. To the inside. Herter passes to Mitchell. Back to Herter. Here's Metu. For the lead. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. His fifth personal foul. Fifth team foul. At the line for the Kings, Chemezi Metu taking two shots. Free throw is good. Now leading by one. Williams is checked in for Oklahoma City. Man comes in for Shea Gilgis Alexander. The Kings also with a sub. Rashawn Holmes, he's checked in for Sabonis. That misses, so he splits the free throws. Oklahoma City has gotten two of four threes to fall here in this third quarter. Outside, Williams. Here's Mann. Pass to Pokashevsky from deep three-point range. That shot, no good. Sacramento has gone three of four from outside in the second half. Mitchell again gets it to go. He can't miss. Five for five. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. And it's Oklahoma City's ball. Door outside. Now here's Williams. Back to Dort. Davis against Williams. Shoots from the block. The basket drops. And he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Oh, what tremendous focus to absorb the contact and find a way there to finish. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Kings. Well, look at this. I mean, points off turnovers. So aggressive, forcing the other team to make mistakes, and it's really paid off. Well, if we add another thing to it, it's about the urgency they've played with. I mean, you look at the eyes of these guys. They're focused, wanting to get up tempo, and that's helped them score on the fast break. The Kings leading. Outside Mitchell. Pass to Herder. That one falls. Nice set up by Mitchell. Mitchell's got five assists in the game. Focused shot there and a tough one. Give Herder credit. Now here's Dort. He's got 13. Puts it up. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. Outside Herder. Back to Davis. Here's Metu. Two minutes remaining. And there are the Kings with another bucket. Yeah, there was a lack of intensity in the first half, but these teams have now turned it up. You asked for those hustle plays earlier in the game. We're seeing them now. Now here's Dort. Back to Williams. Pass to Jordan. Now Dort. Williams from long range. Drains the triple. Williams has got five points now this quarter. Some heads up ball there from Dort. Sacramento has gone three of four from outside in the second half. Here's Metu. Covered by Jordan. Holmes with it. Paisley on him. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. And Rashawn using his length that time to his advantage. Excellent job of getting that foul. At the line for the Kings, Rashawn Holmes. At the line for two. And he knocks down the first one. 
And Rashawn Holmes, a bit of those throwback five types. You know, the big burly guys that play physical, that like to rebound, will bang around on the inside and score in there as well. Barnes, he's checked in for Sacramento. Monk comes in for Herter. He does not get the second one. Oklahoma City trailing. And Dort with the bucket on the assist by Jordan. Jordan's got assist number seven tonight. Outside Monk. Outside Mitchell. Here's Barnes. Plenty of room to knock Harrison down that Barnes. one. Barnes has got 14 points. Harrison Barnes very comfortable in that catch and shoot. Jordan against Barnes. Pass to man. Back to Jordan. Here's Mann. And here's Jordan. He's guarded by Barnes. Barnes against Jordan. Dort for three. That one's good. Seven for ten now. Well, he now has four three-pointers this game, guys. Two in each half. He's really spacing out the floor for his teammates. Now five seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Pass to Holmes. Shoots a fadeaway. Again, the King score. Assist. Yeah, showing a little versatility with their offensive attack. In the first half, it was about the three ball. In the second half, they've emphasized interior scoring. Here's Jordan. Outside for Dort. For the lead. Oh, the Thunder, another three. <laughs> Just incredible. I mean, he's really making it rain out there. Knocking them down one after another. Kind of like he's in his living room right now. He's found a comfort zone. Once he gets that, the defense knows they're in trouble. And we've reached the end of the third quarter. Just a terrific game thus far. It's the Thunder, up by one. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. That's what great passing will do for you right there, dissecting the defense with that play. the game it's been so far with this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure packed basketball Dort and Paisley are the forwards Shea Gilgis Alexander is out there with Josh Kitty and it's Holmgren in at the pivot spot manning the middle that's the lineup for Oklahoma City man they're having a hard time defending the triple that's three in a row box the pass to Barnes Sabonis slams it in. Nice to see Sabonis and some of that mobility for a big man to use that screen and roll. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. The shot by Dort, no good. The Kings trailing. Monk passes to Fox. The floater. And it's good on the lay-in. Fox has got 19 points. That's a nice floater. I mean, a la Mike Conley, if De'Aaron Fox can establish that float game, tough to stop. Four personal foul, first team foul. At the line for your Oklahoma City, Shane Gilgis Alexander. At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he drops the first. You know Shea Gilgis Alexander has so many of the qualities that you want in a leader. He fights. He's energetic. He's a team first guy. And he just looks for ways to get his guys fired up. Both free throws good from Gilgis Alexander. 
Well, when he gets into a groove at the free throw line, it doesn't just last for tonight. This might be two weeks, two months, something like that. Barnes passes to Murray, and here's Monk. It's Barnes on the wing. Over Dort. Barnes, no good. Well, that mid-range J usually pretty much on the money. Maybe the timing just a little bit off on that one. Baisley, good. Baisley. Baisley's got good size at 6'8", so Bums down on the interior with that length. Tough to stop. Outside Barnes. And we're about two minutes into the fourth here. Pass to Sabonis. Fox with the ball. Outside Monk. They get it again. Second chance shot. And the layup is up and in. This is when your interior D has to be on high alert. The Thunder have gotten half of their attempts to fall in the fourth. Two for four now. Here's Gilgis Alexander and connects on the nine-footer. Gilgis Alexander's got 12 points here in the second half. Outside Monk. Outside Barnes. Outside Monk to the paint. Here's Sabonis. That one's good. Seven for ten now. now. Time and time again, they're creating good looks from close range. Now a timeout call by Oklahoma City. Well, they've been turning that ball over way too much, and they really need to address this if they want to win this game. Huddle up, boys. Herders checked in for Monk. A moment to hear from Allie LaForce. Thanks, guys. Mark Dagnall had some words for his team over the last break. He complimented the three-point shooting. He said, quote, it's one thing to get the look. It's another to bury it. I believe in you guys. I think you've got this game on lock. Let's go out there and let's take this. Guys. Okay, thank you, Allie. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. The Kings have gotten four shots out of six attempts to drop so far in the fourth. Oh, he picked him clean. And here's the fast break. Here's Holmgren. And they'll turn it over. Couldn't get the shot off. A shot clock violation. against Gilgis Alexander. Outside Barnes. Back to Fox. Shot clock at five. Murray up top. The three from Barnes. Thunder foul. Here is Bensley. Fourth personal foul. First team foul. It's the Kings with the ball. Here's Barnes. He nails it. And we're tied. Now Barnes can be hard to contain sometimes around the rim. He can create just enough space to be effective. Door outside. Pass to Giddy. Pulls up. Sacramento grabs the miss. Sabonis has got rebound number eight here already in the game. Barnes in the post. Dort defending. And here's Sabonis outside. That one's good. And it's Barnes with the assist. Barnes has got his sixth assist of the night. Now here's Dort. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Here's Holmgren. Here's Dort. Shoots over Barnes. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. Hey, hey, hey. 
Outside Herter. Back to Barnes. Sabonis, left side. Pass to Murray. And there's a three-second three, violation. Three second violation. Oklahoma City's gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Toward outside. Here's Holmgren. He's guarded by Sabonis. They need this. And there's the play by Gilgis Alexander inside. Gilgis Alexander's got six points in the quarter. For Sacramento, they've gone six for nine here in the fourth quarter. Fox finds Barnes. Herter with it. Fox outside. Outside Herter. Pass to Barnes. Three-pointer off the mark. Yeah, the defense there in chill mode. We all know he can burn them from three-point range. The offensive rebound. And the shot goes in. And the Thunder lead by one. This is the very definition of a back-and-forth contest. Yes, neither side taking its foot off the gas. I'm expecting a spectacular finish. Now here's Fox. Pass to Sabonis. And Sabonis slams it in. So this is a huge bonus to have Sabonis drill a couple shots and add some offense to the attack. Gilgis Alexander passes to Dort. Outside Giddy takes a three. Sacramento grabs the miss. Sabonis has got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Dort against Barnes. Good. And he's at 8 of 14 now. A solid offensive performance. Oh, what great action we've seen tonight. Hard to imagine a more entertaining game. No, this is about as high octane a game as you're going to find. Well, if he's going to keep shooting, they've got to run some plays for him. Screens, pick and rolls, anything they can do to get him started. It was a strong move. The shot's just a little off. Robinson Earls checked in for Oklahoma City. Jordan comes in for Dort. Demontis Sabonis, two shots. And he makes a first. So after making the first, he goes one for two. Just a great job of adding to their lead. Late in the game, every point matters. Jordan against Herter. Pass to Baisley. Here's Jordan. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. Zero rim protection. Unforgivable in a tight ball game like this. Well, I hope there's one player on that team out there that has interest in winning this game. Right now, it doesn't look to be one. The Thunder making a switch here. Williams is checked in. One shot. Sacramento, they've gone 8 of 12 so far here in the fourth. Outside Herter. Up top, Sabonis. Knocks it loose. From deep, Jordan. The rebound by Murray. The Kings leading. It's Herter on the wing. Giddy defends. Down low. Oh, and a vicious dunk by Barnes. And every now and then, Harrison Barnes has these kind of games where he can explode offensively. Oklahoma City has gone just one of six from downtown in this final quarter. Gilgis Alexander with the ball. Left side, Williams. 
And that's out of bounds. Last touch by Giddy. A sloppy turnover. When you're not locked in, you pay the price. Well, Sacramento is shooting 71%. Their offense has looked unstoppable all game long. Pass to Barnes. Here's Herber. Off target from three-point range. Surprising to see him miss here, but they'll be happy with that shot in most possessions. And the basket is good. He got it to go, and he took the bump. So a free throw coming up, an opportunity at a three-point play. Defensive foul. Tion Fox. First personal foul. Third team foul. At the line for your home lane. city. Find the lane. Shane Kilchis Alexander. Shooting one. That one drops. He ties it up. Now Fox. Pass to Herder. Gilgis Alexander against Fox. Now Sabonis. Six to shoot. Shoots. He can't hit that time. So the Thunder will take it the other way. Here's Jordan. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. They'll pin that one on Harrison Barnes. At the line for your Thunder. Two shots. Shooting two. And now they lead as the free throw drops in for him. And both free throws good for Jordan. What you can't help but notice this half is how lights out they've been from the free throw line. And the Kings call time here. Take a look at the new balance player of the game, De'Aaron Fox. The defense has just looked utterly lost trying to slow him down. He's consistently just getting high percentage shots because of how hard he's working. He's doing pretty much whatever he can to get open and <laughs> making the most of those opportunities. It. Nine for 14 and showing no let up. De'Aaron Fox stepping up big time. And the Thunder shooting 41% here in the fourth. Double team on Gilgis Alexander. Giddy's got space. That one's good. And so Gilgis Alexander with the assist. Gilgis Alexander's got assist number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two Pass to Barnes. A bonus against Williams. Inside, Fox. And he floats it in for the easy two. Credit the sweet setup on that one. And such a strong part of what Sabonis brings to the game. Quality passing. Fox against Gilgis Alexander. And the layup falls. Gilgis Alexander's got 33 points. Gilgis Alexander coming through big time. against Gilgis Alexander. It counts! And the foul! It's going to go on Shea Gilgis Alexander. And he was dominant in their last outing. And the same thing here tonight. He is in a 
terrific move right now. There seems to be nobody standing in his way, no roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. And he's the one person that the coaching staff and the teammates love to see at the line in a tight ball game. You can pretty much bank on these. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. And we've got 118 left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. He's got to be mad at himself. You won't get a better look than that. Here's Murray. And rejected. Given how long Baisley is, just not a good idea to get that ball anywhere near that length. outside. Gilgis Alexander with a rebound. Oklahoma City trailing. To the middle. Here's Jordan. Good! Wow. That takes steady nerves right there. <laughs> Not backing down from this moment here. When the game is close, he kicks it up a notch. Now here's Fox. Over Gilgis Alexander. Money. Fox stepping up in the clutch here. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. They trail by one. 41 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. Okashevsky's checked in for Oklahoma City. Forty-one seconds left in the fourth quarter. Jordan with the bucket. And Sacramento has possession. The floater. He connects! And tie game! Huge basket right there! Continuing to expand his offensive game. Fox off to a good start. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. Outside Giddy. Pass to Baisley. Six on the shot clock. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Fades. Count it! Gilgis Alexander going to celebrate that one. Sacramento calls timeout. They're trailing by two. There's ten seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? A chance to tie it up here. Well, they just need a solid play right now. And Coach going through his index cards to find one to get something going. Fox outside. Fox just found a little bit of space there, and he burned the defense. Now a timeout call by Oklahoma City. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Ooh, no good there. Potential game winner was off the mark. Time expires. We're going to overtime.